Good evening. We're on Don Outdoor Adventures again. Uh, I ordered another blade for that uh, that that electric, that new electric knife. I got the American Angler. There it is, right there. Oop, bring it down. Bring it down. There it is, right there. And this is the American Angler uh, fillet knife that I got. So I'm going to try them out. I just caught some crappie yesterday. I didn't get around to getting them. It's cold enough to keep them still outside, and that's what I did. And uh, got some nice ones. So uh, I'm going to put them out here on the table for you guys to see them. Not a lot, but... Just to give you an idea on what I'm doing here with this knife, uh, see if I can uh, fillet a few of them up and not cut them in half. I've been on a bad streak, so I'm kind of, uh, he's still alive, look at there. So I'm going to uh, try to uh, redeem myself. So, like I said, it's the American Angler fillet knife, and it's, uh, it's called a shark shark blade and the teeth are pretty pretty neat looking see how thin that blade is so hopefully it'll get the job done and I won't you guys last time was uh, taking out that rib section there. Just come in here and go down and around here. There you have it. That's a little one. But they get bigger. Come around. I'm saving that for the cats. These rib sections. But yeah. I think I can do it. Pretty white, nice, pretty white fillet. Look at that. Yep, that's what it. That's what it is. Put it in the 
bowl, they done. We'll do one more. Just like that. I need to zoom in for you guys. Let me see here. There we go. Hopefully I'm not in the way. So like I said, you cut down the top of them and then come around and kind of make a like an L when you're doing it. And you have that the bottom piece of meat right there. There you have it. That's how we do it from Don Outdoor Adventures. Uh, it was cold yesterday. After the snow, they weren't in there like I thought they would be. But uh, I got a few out. I know some new brush piles now. Oh, yeah. That little thin blade really, uh, you don't have to turn as much. With that other blade, I had to try to turn and get around it, but this one is so thin, you can just roll with it. Nice. Like I said, there you have it. Get these right here out. Like I said, come down on top of that rib section right there. Just go down, make a cut. Another little cut. Come on down. Same thing with a regular knife. This is my other knife. I got a little sharp fillet knife. You want the fillet knife to be flimsy. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna come around and make a C or a L. Come on around, turn that meat, and then just cut it off at the bottom. And you'll get that little L section right there. That's a little rugged right there. Like I said, American Angler. That's my new. Um, it's my new arsenal that I'm gonna have this uh, this year. The blades are like twenty dollars though, but hey, ain't nothing like a good sharp knife and a good sharp blade when you're filleting. That makes your time it saves time and you're not working as hard with your wrist, especially if you catch a lot of crappie like I do sometimes, like twenty, thirty at a time. That can be a lot of pressure on your wrist if it's a dull fillet knife. So you, good to buy yourself some, some sharp, nice, quality blades for your uh, blade knife. So, that's how we do it. We'll see you next time on Don Outdoor Adventures. Yes, sir, baby. I got a few more to knock out. I mean, I can go lay down. Alright, we'll see you.